not even a heavy downpour, a hopeless traffic jam outside can keep this SRO crowd from marching into the Big Dome to witness the De La Salle University Green Archers as they face off with the Ateneo Blue Eagles at stake today. The sweet bid of the Archers, Mike Cortez and the undefeated champions put their winning streak on the line. They are going for the sweep today and standing in their way are the Blue Eagles led by strong MVP contender Enrico Villanueva playing in his final year for the Ateneo. Good afternoon everyone, we're coming to you live from the Big Dome. Today, the Big Dome is Scalpers Paradise. <laughs> and my partner and I are lucky to be getting in for free. And we're happy to bring you this historic ball game between two historic rivals. I'm Miko Halili with Mr. Randy Sakdal and partner on the line today. Nasal going for history. And yes, partner, and you're right about saying that you know we're privileged to be together watching the game, covering the game, Ateneo versus Nasal. Partner, script is well written. History so much. You know, Ateneo going through its round of wins. Lasal, uh, their party all set, but Ateneo stands in the way. You know, what better script can be written other than you know the date with history today, September 14. Of course, Ateneo all set to ruin Lasal. Oh, yes. With history. Let's look at where the teams are going into this ball game. This is the penultimate day of the elimination round. Well, as if the Ateneo LaSalle building is not enough. Look where LaSalle is. Looking for a historic 14 and Olo. That has been you know, the story for LaSalle all season long. For Ateneo, this is really an important ball game. A chance to tie up UP at the top of 9 and 5. Chance for a twice to beat uh, advantage in the final four. Chance for Ateneo to make the final four happen. It all stands in the way of Ateneo and Ateneo versus Lasal. Partner, we can't say enough. Billing is there. Script is well written. It's just a game that we're missing right now. LA Tenorio, he suited up, mm -hmm. but it, there's a big question mark whether or not he will get to play today. Now, as you look at Carlos Sharma, who has played big as well for LaSalle, and especially that game against UE. Here, uh, this is how the teams compare in terms of uh, numbers. Well, cumulatively, if you look at it, it's just a plus seven on the side of LaSalle and Ateneo, a plus four in terms of the total numbers. Field goal shooting and rebounds, not much really of a story differentiating the two teams for LaSalle and uh, Ateneo. LaSalle has figured in so many close ball games. Ateneo, they've also been very close ones, but certainly very impressive was the last win over Adamson. That sets the table for for this game against De La Salle. When, the, uh, when these uh, two teams met uh, back in the last uh, in their last game of the first round, uh, the Lasalites dominated that ball game against Ateneo, which was playing without Rich Alvarez and uh, La Salle handily uh, winning this ball game 70-60. But in that game, Miko, La Salle did not give Ateneo a chance to even equalize in that ball, ball game. It was all on La Salle from the beginning, and uh, in the end, well, it was a 10-point win for De La Salle. And of course, uh, the Athenians hoping to seek revenge today. They will be giving you more uh, backgrounders for this big ball game. You know, I wore my green tie just for you, partner. <laughs> Thanks so much. Nico and the Blue Eagles, Cortez and the Green Archers, they'll be ready to go to war when we return. Well, the Ateneo Blue Eagles, they're on a, they want to spoil someone's party tonight. <laughs> they want, you know, they want to ruin LaSalle's date with destiny. As, of course, the Green Archers trying to become the first LaSalle team in its rich basketball yes. history to attain a sweep of the elimination round, whether it's in the old NCAA or in the UAAP. Now, what's impressive about this LaSalle run, partner, is how close their wins have been. Yep, and the, uh, just what we call about very few lopsided games, but against UST, NU, UE, FEU, UP, you know, Coach Franz Omar would call it, you know, a heart attack game for him. Very close call, the last time coming at the expense of UP, last Thursday, just a one-point ball game, LaSalle defeating uh, UP. And, you know, you've covered so many of these close games, partner, for uh, De La Salle. That's right, I, I already feel like the De La Salle lucky charm. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, and my, my Athenian friends are not amused. <laughs> you know, in fact, uh, the Archers in their last uh, last five games, mm -hmm. their winning margin just under four points. Oh yes, that has been the way since 2098. About four to six points difference favoring De La Salle. And of course, the big story has always been the cool cap, Mike Cortez for De La Salle University. You know, partner, you've, you've covered Mike. You know, I, I crossed paths with him uh, the park that he said, partner, can you say something good about me? You know, the numbers would speak where Mike Cortez stands in the ball game in the UAAP. Those numbers, the first 11 games, 12.6. The last two games, 24.5 points per ball game. 
But what's really amazing with Mike Cortez, when these points came into the ball game, when La Salle needed it, Mike Cortez was there for De La Salle. Oh, without a doubt, he is De La Salle's Mr. Fourth Quarter, mm -hmm. Mr. Last Two Minutes. And in fact, he wants us to say something nice about him. To be honest, I'm already running out of adjectives <laughs> for that uh, uh, young man. Now, talking about the Athenians coming into this game, riding high on a four-game winning streak. Oh, yeah, Chico. Well, I mentioned about the script. Ateneo was down in the standings at four and five. L.A. Tenorio was out because of an injury. Then, here comes this run by Ateneo, defeating NU, UST, UP, Adamson to set up looking for a fifth straight win at the expense of De La Salle. But the story, they've out-rebounded their opponents. The lease at, uh, against UST at 46-38, to 38, but certainly the Lord of the Rings, Villanueva and Rich Alvarez, they have controlled the boards, they have controlled possession, they have more opportunities, and they have registered victories. You know, speaking of Lord of the Rings, you know, the Athenians, they're hoping that two hobbits will step up big time today. We're talking about Epo Kimpo <laughs> and Maki Escalona, and you know, they really have to play larger than their real height when they're going up against a cool cat, Mike Cortez. Oh, yes. That has always been the question. No? I was very impressed the way Kimpo played against uh, the last the last time around for, against Adamson for Ateneo and Escalona. Boy, he back some power for Ateneo. There's so much intelligence in the backcourt of Ateneo with Kimpo and Escalona at the helm for Coach Joel Badan. They're not playing spectacular ball, but they're indeed playing mm. steady ball. Yes. They will need every ounce of steadiness when they go up against the prolific backcourt of the Green Archers. We'll bring you the showdown between the undefeated De La Salle Green Archers led by Franz Pumarin, but Joel Banan and the Blue Eagles, they have other things in mind as they hope to ruin La Salle's date with destiny today. We'll bring you the jump ball of the showdown when we return. Here are the starting lineups for Ateneo La Salle round two for the defending champions Vaino, Santa Maria, Sharma, Cortes, Cardona for the Ateneans Chia, Alvarez, Villanueva, Conacher, and Epo Quimpo. And the Ateneans will have the first chance to score on this very rainy Saturday afternoon from the Big Dome. Kipo starting in the place of the injured Tenorio has missed Ateneo's last four games. Here's Villanueva had a big game in their first round showdown. Conachev for three, and it bounces out. And they took move the ball around David Conachev. It's important partner for Conachev to come out strong and score steadily for Ateneo against Tassan. Our referees for this ball game, Torres, Manana, and Pascual. Here, Santa Maria down low. Villanueva bit it to the same two points for the Green Archer. Chocolate's an assist for De La Salle, looking to attack the game of uh, Ateneo. Alvarez to Fonacher on the left side, over to Kipo. And the Ateneans will be very patient as they run their half-court set. That's right, partner. Here's Alvarez, Villanueva with a cut, and that pass is stolen by Cardona. And I think they played two courses that time for uh, Ateneo losing the ball to the archers. Let's go to Agnes from the De La Salle bench. Well, the archers recognize that this is a big game for them, as well as for the Blue Eagles. This is why they expect the Athenians to come out strong in this game. Arch rivals are not, the archers are running to go. 
coach Franz Pumard believes that the key to their winning this ball game is on their health defense. They need to work as a team and help each other climb their way to a clean sweep. And as coach Franz Pumard puts it, this is our game. Back to you, Vito and Randy. It's there by Gia. They battle for the rebound and they will call a jump. Referee Torres will call a jump. It would be between Vaino and Enrico. The partner, the Lasal is forced Vaino to take shots from the three-point area. First it was Larry Pumich and now it was Jeff Chia. They're double-teaming right from the report of Havis to double-team down low Rico Villanueva or Rich Alvarez. Over a minute has gone by and uh, Ateneo has failed to score so far. Here's Fonacer, he won't take the three. Cross-court pass to Kipo. Kipo against Cardona. Kipo, he doesn't want to shoot. And here's Villanueva. There's the double team. There's the drop step. And he's called for taking steps. Yes, partner. You know, what probably made Rico think twice was the double team anticipated and Cardona was, was closing. Maybe Kipo ought to bring Cardona on the other side to allow uh, Rico Villanueva to operate more independently against Sharma. Let's get the scouting report from the Ateneo, courtesy of Patty. with their half-court set. Meantime, here's Enrico Villanueva uh, swatting away that attempt by Carlos Sharma brought to you by Rexona. The 24 hour best defense against Odor and Wetness, Rexona, it won't let you down. 4 nothing in favor of the Green Archer. Oh, yeah, the has yet to come up with the number here at the side has so far taking the defense to the hill. Gia on the left side over to Fonacer. They swing it over to Villanueva on the right side. So he tries to work from the right side. He gets double deep. He has nowhere to go. Here's Fonacer. And still no points for Ateneo. Gia diving. No go. Villanueva down low. And there's a foul according to referee Pasquale. At that time Ateneo was able to get on the board. And they were crashing the boards, realizing that they cannot afford to let Lasal just get the defensive ball. So the intensity is there, but still no numbers. First foul given up by Lasal in the game. And that was against uh, Carlo Sharma. Number one on Carlo and the first team foul for Lasal. Remember, aside from the sweep, Lasal also wants to get an automatic seat in the finals. Villanueva misses the layup. So with over two minutes having gone by, still no score for Ateneo. Here comes Lasal on the attack, but Ateneo gets the steal. Villanueva throws it for Chia, and there's a foul given up by Miko Baino. That layup will not count. Well, yes, Miko Baino was the last line of the Good recognition on the part of Villanueva. He was looking downstairs. He saw Jeff Jek Chia scooting down. That's the first foul on Miko Baino and the second team foul for De La Salle. You know, we've played over three minutes of basketball here and still no score uh -huh. for the Blue Eagles. Here's Alvarez, top of the key. Alvarez to Kipo. Kipo fakes, Kipo fires, and it's no good. Oh, Antonio shooting flags yes. here in the early goings. But it was an open look for Kipo. He didn't make the shot, and Nassal was able to get the rebound. Oh, he's gonna share, committing a loose ball foul. Looks like there was a lid on that uh, ring so far for Ateneo here in Araneta. <laughs> 6.41 remaining in the game, 4 to nothing. Well, Lasal also has scored a punch, though like Ateneo has scored blocks. Here's Cardona against Chia. Cardona inside, one-hander is good! Well, that's going to be a tough matchup for Jeff Jeff Chia. Cardona's not on the team, the dribble is not taken away. 6 to nothing for Lasal. A little over six minutes remaining in what has been a De La Salle first quarter. Here's Alvarez against Santa Maria. Nowhere to go. Kimpo passes to Chia. Chia from the left side. And still no basket for the Blue Eagles. Fonacher fighting for the loose ball. He shoots and he won't score. Put back no go. And the La Salle have the ball. Here's Cardona. Vanya's on the right side. And that is traveling against Cardona. Yep, he was stuck there. Fonacher knew how to stop the dribble of Cardona. And the ball coming back. Today is feeling some chilling effects here. Maybe the cold weather it, is affecting You know, it must be the rain. Oh, yes. Meantime, here's Cardona being bothered by Fonacer and is forced to commit traveling. First substitution of the ball game 
Rich Alvarez is going. Uh, rather, it's Chio stepping uh, stepping back to the bench. Wesley Gonzalez is in the ball game. And before we continue this contest, with under six minutes to go, the Archers are on top 6-0 here in the first quarter. in the big no last year's gunner Edwin Ritualo talking with Dino Aldeguer that's Ria Tanwaco there's Mr. Waki Trillo Carlo Trillo behind him under six minutes to play in the first and the Blue Eagles have yet to score a basket in this ball game Alvarez can't give the ball to Enrico over to Kimpo 4-3 oh ho hey that's gonna open things up a lot of respect for Kimpo but you know, it's just a matter of opening things for Ateneo. Kimpo has opened the lid. Maybe it's time for Ateneo to freely cash in. Asal still up by three. Here's Sharma at the post. Sharma with the drop set. Beautiful move. But the rebound goes to Alvarez. No. Ball goes out. And Cardona was caught stepping on the baseline. This is what we're looking for. Look at this partner. He's Kimpo, you know, he's shooting 44% from three-point range. That was brought to you by Lipton, the official ICT of the UWAP. How important is it for Ateneo, for Kimpo to make his shot? You know, he's playing so well. He's going to open things up. He's, he'll be respected, and that's going to make it easier for Villanueva and Alvarez to do it. To put back by Fonacer is good off the miss by Gonzalez. You know, that's going to be the problem for LaSalle. Last game against UP, they did a poor job boxing out, giving the offensive board. Ateneo's doing it again here, and it's just a one-point game for LaSalle. Cortez going baseline, goes to Sharma. Sharma fakes, Sharma fires, no go. Here's Kimpo, the smallest man on the court, gets the rebound. Under five minutes to play in the first. This is for the go-ahead. Oh, yes. Last back news. Ateneo getting the lead on a three-point shot by Rich Alvarez. So after a four-minute drought, Ateneo finally gets its guns going. But here's Cortez and the Green Archers on the attack. He goes again to Sharma. Sharma misses Villanueva with a rebound. Quickly to Fanacer, Gonzalez and Manalo one-on-one. -on -one. The junior team is going at it. Oh, yes. And Gonzalez prevailing in that instance. Getting a foul to both from BJ. Three-point play in the making for Wesley. You know, those two young men actually won a championship together for the Ateneo High School back in 1997. And here they are on opposite sides of the fence. Gonzalez with a sidestep, Manalo with a foul, and the basket counts. Brought to you by Paul Anderson, making great things possible. You know, what made it nifty really for Wesley is he made the crossover and brought the ball to his strong side, and BJ was just trailing him. And they're smoking after the timeout partner for Ateneo. And now it's a five-point lead for the Blue Eagles as Gonzalez completes the three-point play. About to hit the four-minute mark of the first. Here's Manny Ramos. Ramos baseline. No. Alvarez with a rebound. And he has uh, two rebounds. One rebound. What a share. Alvarez hit the three-pointer earlier. Over to Gonzalez against Cardona. Nine on the shot clock. Turn around. Let's go. Well, he has a he's taller than Mac Macatona. About three, four inches given up, and it's the third of uh, France to call time out. So Ateneo responds with a big burst here in the first quarter. Down best men is six points earlier. They're now up by seven as Lasal calls the timeout. We're back at the Big Dome for this big game between Ateneo and La Salle and Rich Alvarez. Scores on this three-pointer, Walter by Lipton, the official ice team of the UAAP. Blue Eagles up by seven points, and here's Cortez, and he hits the three! In response, partner, first shot taken by the full captain, people are cutting off the timeout. Willie Wilson has checked in the ball game for De La Salle. Kimpo being bothered by Cortez. Over to Fonacero on the left side. 11 on the shot clock. Here's Kimpo. 4-3. Short. Villanueva can't get the rebound. It's with Alvarez. And he slams it home. Again, partner, Lasal failed to pass out properly. Alvarez, there was a screen for him. Stopping it in. 
bringing the emotions back to Loyola. Here it is, the offensive rebound and the burst of energy for the slam brought to you by Club Handicom, making great things possible. Six point lead, Cortez misses the three. With three at the knee, it's going for the rebound and the ball. Falls to Manny Ramos for the easy oh, two. Yes. Which is a trap, which is a killer instinct for Ateneo. Ramos puts his name on the board. Four point lead for Ateneo. Here's Gonzalez for three. Sal is giving the perimeter to the Ateneo. How many three point shots now? Three for Ateneo, one for Gonzalez, one for Kimpo, and one for Alvarez. Archer's down by seven. Time now, two minutes and 11 seconds to go in the opening period. Here's Willie Wilson against Wesley, and Gonzalez will be tagged with a foul. That's the first against Gonzalez, second team foul against Ateneo. Meantime, here's the third three pointer for uh, the Blue Eagles, brought to you by Lipton. The official ice tea of the UAAP. Substitution on the hard court. Bonacero sits down. And Chia goes back in the ball game. Tadeo also checks in to replace Rich Alvarez. Approaching the two minute mark of the first quarter. Wilson down low, fall away. Yes! He likes that matchup. Gets a pass from Cortez. Wilson's put number there. Cutting down at the nails lead to five. Sunny Tadeo had a great game against Asal in the first round. He collared seven rebounds in the absence of Rich Alvarez. Meantime, a play there that was broken up, fortunately for uh, Ateneo, will stay in their backyard. Ten seconds to shoot for the Athenians. They're still up 18 to 13, a minute and 39 remaining in the first period. Gonzalez starts to play. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Kimpo. Oh! A soft pass stolen by B.J. Manalo. He was bothered from behind. The turnaround is good! Well, he's gonna love that shot. First shot of B.J. falling in. And the lead is down to three for Ateneo. So what was once a proud seven-point lead has been trimmed down to three. Here's Villanueva against Manny Ramos. There's the double team over to Chia. Chia over to Kimpo. Kimpo won't fire. And then he goes back to Gonzalez with three on the shot clock. Gonzalez, no go. And last touch on Jun Jun Cabatu. Again, Lasal unable to get a defensive rebound. Cabatu, look. Just a second remaining quarter in the shot clock of Ateneo. And Andrew Cruz comes in for Epo Kimpo. T.Y. Tang, the rookie, comes in for Cortez. One on the shot clock. It has to be a catch and shoot. Mm -hmm. Yep. Here's the catch. There's the oh! shot. And a foul to good partner. That was a big play. Dylan Weber recognizing the situation. Catch and shoot. Yes, Manny Ramos got it to contact. Look at this partner. From the inbound, Dylan Weber was asking for it. There's the communication and the basket foul to boot from Manny Ramos. First foul against Manny Ramos, fourth team foul against the Green Archers. And here's Villanueva absolutely dominating oh, statistics yeah. for this season. But his Waterloo has been the free throw line. So the Archers are down by five. And here's uh, Tyrone Tong quarterbacking for the Green Archers. Less than a minute to go in the first. And the ball will go to the Blue Shirts. But they miscommunicated Kabatu and Wilson on that end when Tang issued a pass. Jitters for uh, the rookie. Under one minute to play in the opening quarter. Here's Gonzalez to Chia. Chia, he traveled. He saw that situation and sort of hurried up. Giving possession to the archers. Down by five points are the defending champions. 20 to 15 for Ateneo. The Blue Eagles are hoping to win this game and hope UE loses yes. tomorrow for, uh, to USA. create a three-way tie for second place. Tang looking for Manalo. Now to Wilson, top of the key. Wilson on the move, and that's another foul against Gonzalez. He's been having a hard time keeping in step with Willie Wilson. The advantage really of Willie is he can, he can dribble that ball. Two fouls on Wesley, off the bench for Wesley Gonzalez. But he's always been crucial partner for Ateneo. In the games that Ateneo has won, Wesley combines with Rico Villanueva. Conacher's quickly off the bench 
to, to replace Wesley Gonzalez for Ateneo, well, he has to pick up his game partner. I really feel that, you know, Ateneo's game latches a lot on Ponacer's shooting and his defense. So far, two points today for Ponacer. Here's Wilson playing in his final year for De La Salle. Wilson to Ramos, Ramos to Tang. Tang, oh, they still have lots of time on the shot clock, but only 15 seconds to go in the first. There's a two second differential. And here's Tang with a drive. And this pass is stolen by Sunny Tadeo. Here's Andrew Cruz. Two seconds to go. Over to Chia. Chia with the layup. And it counts. The basket counts. So after being down 6 0, the Athenians coming up with a big scoring run. The lead after the first 10 minutes. 22 15. Here's Andrew he was thinking about the shot. It was a fake. He goes to Chia for the drive. And it's, ca it, yeah, it's counted. It's counted. So after the first 10 minutes of play, the upset minded Athenians are up 22 15. Well, we remind you to get the latest copy of uh, Chalk Magazine. Chalk Magazine from School to Sports. We've got your campus covered. Hey, can I have one of your 10 copies of the Heart Evangelista Chalk issue? Come on, partner, you can spare one. Now, if you're hungry for updates on the UAAP games, just like UAAP, Space Health, and Center 2, 366. And if you want to get the latest scores, key in UAAP, Space Score, and Center 2, 366. Here's the score at the start of the second quarter. And a partner, what an adjustment made by Ateneo in the first quarter. They were down 6 to nothing. Then Wesley Gonzalez came in, and then Kimpo hit the three-point shot, and it was all Ateneo from that point. So the Blue Eagles open the second period with a seven-point lead. Joseph Yo has checked in the game for La Salle. Here's Fonacer against Yo. Fonacer to Villanueva. Villanueva, one-hander, no. And a long rebound is picked up by the rookie, Junjun Tabatu. Joseph Yo playing the point. A lot of bagging inside the paint. Yo to Wilson. And uh, Fonacer will be tagged. Or is it Manalo, partner? I think it's on Manalo. Because they're, num they're both number 12. Uh huh. It's Manalo. You know, offensive ball against BJ. He was banging bodies with Larry for the set. The funny thing is, BJ was actually Larry's mentor when they were back in the Ateneo uh, High School. That's foul number two on BJ Manalo. Here's Fonacer. Over to Andrew Cruz. And an open shot. Now Fonacer to Villanueva. Villanueva, 70 footer, looked really short. Punisher saves the ball, but it goes to the wrong man. Archer's down by seven points. Here's Yo. And he flips a pass, but someone fouled Yo on the arm. That would be on Jet Chia, who was guarding. No, it's on Andrew Cruz. Was number one on Andrew Cruz. Cortez comes in early in the game to replace BJ Manado. Alvarez replaces Rico Villanueva. So the shuffling of men coming through here in the second quarter for both coaches. One minute has gone by here in the second period. Yo in motion, here's Cortez in the paint, Dipsy do, too strong. Here's Andrew Cruz, and there's a steal from behind by Cortez. You never take your eyes off Cortez in the backcourt. Here's Wilson against Chia. Wilson with the advantage, and they cut the lead down to five. You know, he immediately capitalized on that mismatch against Jeff Chia. Not really known for his low post uh, defense. And they over to Chia. 14 on the shot clock. Alvarez gets the ball, and they clear out for Alvarez. And he takes the three, and it rattles out. Abato with the rebound. Archer's on the attack. Here's Cortez. Zigzagging throw, and Cruz gives up the foul from behind. Well, that's, that's the last thing that stopped Cortez. Probably the second foul on Andrew Cruz coming from behind. Stop uh, Cortez, but you know, the attention that Mike really gets for Nassau. Look at this. You know, he's going to dribble his way through, and Cruz could just hack him from behind because he could not stop that move of a Mike. He's like the prettiest girl in a soiree. <laughs> you know, it's just, it, it, you know, it's, it's like sweets to ants. You know, they, uh -huh. they just, they, they're just magnetized. Can't take my eyes off you, partner. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you know, you know, there's some hacking going on inside the shaded area. Foul off the ball on Sunny Tadeo. That's number one on Sunny, and the third team foul for Ateneo. With still over eight minutes to play in the first half. 
There's Santiago Cabato Jr. quickly inside to Manny Ramos. And Conacer gets the rebound. Conacer quickly to Alvarez. Alvarez sidestep and no. Can't get the soft bounce off the rim. Oh, and Alvarez picks up a foul. You know, Atidian feeling was a soft touch given by Alvarez and the foul was called against him. That's number one on Alvarez, but you mentioned three. Now it's 14 fouls against Ateneo. A good 7.55 remaining in the second period. Score is 22-17. Five-point lead for the Blue Eagles. Eagles coming into this ball game with eight wins and five losses. Here's Cortez on the left side, picked up by Kipo. 15 on the shot clock, over to Joseph Yo. Joseph Yo, fall away. Abato now with five rebounds. He loses the ball, it goes out. Last touch on Chia. You know, that's why Kratom Martin loves the game of Junjun Abato Park. He hustles so much, you know, he's, he's quick for his size, and so far, those numbers speak about the intensity of this young rookie. Wilson against Chia, and Wilson just bulldozes over Chia for an offensive foul. <laughs> he was tempted, he was tempted. He had his success a while back, and he just bulldozed his way through. Look at this partner. He saw Chia, and then he lowering his shoulder, boom, out of the way, and a foul called on Willie. First foul against Wilson. So those two players are playing in their final years for uh, their respective schools. Over seven minutes to play in the second period. Wilson bothering Conacher. Conacher not really known to be a good ball handler. And here's for the share, trying to go all the way, blocked by Ramos, but there's a foul. That's going to be a foul on Manny Ramos, three throws awaiting Larry for the share. Second foul on Manny Ramos, third foul for La Salle. Well, look at this play. He was tempted to scoot through. He saw the opening. Manny Ramos, last line of defense, and yes, there was contact on that shot made by Larry for the share. Larry Alexander von Asher playing in his third year, averaging 10 points, four rebounds, five assists per ball game. He is a 78% free throw shooter. Oops. Nico Villanueva very concerned with that uh, shot of Larry von Asher. Tenorio, question is, will he be fielded by coach Joel Banano? It's always a question. But I think psychologically, you put LA on the bench in a uniform to be able to give his teammates that opportunity to know that LA is right behind us. That was a precision free throw from Globe Anico making great things possible. Archer's down by six. Here's Ramos back to Cortez. Cortez over to Wilson. Wilson again going up against Chia. Now there's the double team. And there's a whistle. As we go to Agnes with the support from the La Salle bench. Nico, as the Archers are feeling the pressure in this ball game, Coach Franz Pumarin tells his boys just to relax and just do the things that the, they're supposed to do. Rebound, be aggressive, move your feet, and more importantly, play as a team and talk to your teammates. Back to you, Nico and Randy. You know, I absolutely don't see any reason why they should not relax. They've, they've been here before. <laughs> they've been down by 18 against USD. So, you know, a six-point lead should not be a problem. Uh, yeah, but, uh, but what's really difficult is the, the idea of the sweep league of coming into your system. You know you go on 13 straight, one more team in the way, Ateneo, and you can't just relax, you know. It's, very, it's easier said than done. The Chargers are feeling that uh, pressure, and Ateneo's just playing coy to that kind of a uh, strip for them. Put pressure on this guy. Because when you think about it, when you think about it, even if Nassar loses, you know, they'll be number one in yes. the final four anyway. But of course, history, you know, history has a way of tempting the best of us. Oh, yes. And you know, I was just talking to the wife of France a while before the game. He and she told me, you know, Randy, today is September 14. You know, we'd like to get number 14. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's absolutely true. <laughs> Under seven minutes to play in the second period. Cortez. Again, they go to Wilson. And Wilson, he has, you know, he has been overwhelming Chia at yes. the post. Well, he gets that ball. Mike is feeding him well. Partner, how many points? Seven points for Willie, five in the quarter. And slowly but surely, the archers are crawling back in this ball game, down by just three. Here's Fonacher from the right side. Crossover dribble, and the layup goes in. Well, he really took Kabaku to school that time. Baked him to his left and went to his right. There was no help at the sideline, at the baseline, to get those three points. Five points for Fonacher. Mateo and Kimpo double teaming Cortez. 13 on the shot clock. Nine on the shot clock. Cortez to Wilson. 
Wilson, he spins, and that's traveling. Yeah, good help there by Rich Alvarez. Yeah. Went to the path of Wilson, picked his triple, and traveled. Hey, partner. First time in the game. You know, as we watch this great crossover dribble there by Fonacer, leaving the rookie behind for a, that power move from Globe Andiphone, making great things possible. J.R. Elmido has only played three games so far, and this is his fourth outing for Ateneo. He's averaging just two points and three rebounds, but he's in this crucial game. Gia on the left side, nine on the shot clock. Gia over to Alvarez. Alvarez against Wilson, five on the shot clock. Inside to Elmido. There's a steal by Elmido, and he scores! That is a big bonus, partner. There was some pressure in the shot. Time running down in the game of Ateneo. Elmido comes up with a shot, restores the seven point lead for Ateneo. Under six minutes to play in the first half. Now it's Elmido picking up Wilson, but here's Cortez slicing through. Uh -oh. You know, you can't leave that defensive lane open for Mike Cortez. Five points for Cortez in the ball game. Alvarez is in trouble. He needs help. He needs help. And now to Chia. Chia on the move. Over to Tadeo. Tadeo, he won't shoot from that far. And now they swing it over to Chia. Eight on the shot clock. Chia for three, and it's an air ball. You know, it was a really tough situation for Ateneo. There was no direction in that offense of Ateneo. And the archers will like to talk things over. They're still down by five with under five minutes to go in the first period. A first a half rather. Just being a spectator, Gerard Jones watching over the sidelines. This game with Miko Villanueva in the ball game now for Ateneo Miko. And so it's uh, the rookie, Maki Escalona, who quickly gives up a foul, fresh off the bench, that's his first, and uh, that will send uh, Cortez to the free throw line. No, that's a situation favoring De La Salle. You, know, you have a rookie, Escalona, coming up to guard Cortez. They're in the penalty, giving Cortez an opportunity to shoot free throw shots. By the way, want to know more about the UAAP? Join the UAAP trivia game. Get a chance to win 100,000 pesos weekly or in Nokia 3350 daily. Text in UA and send to 2331 for Globe subscribers. Coach Joel Banal, you know, he really has, he's on the short end of the stick when it comes to matching up with Coach Franz Tomares. If you count their uh, matchups, dating back to the PBL, Joel has only won one game against uh, Franz Tomare. <laughs> You've got a good record of that one. <laughs> and, and you're counting just this year and so far. Well, let's see, you know, maybe things will be even after this ball game. And there's a, a split from the line from Mike Cortez as we go to Patti Laurel from the Ateneo Bills. Coach Manal is happy with the performance of the Ateneo Bills. However, he doesn't want them to relax he wants them to keep that level of performance and that intensity. He wants them to add more pressure on their defense. They also have to penetrate, not allow LaSalle to penetrate, rather, inside and to give LaSalle a hard time in defending us. Back to you guys. Thank you, Patty. You know, JR and Pito hasn't seen much playing time this season, but this third year student, a part of Ateneo's uh, champion team in the juniors, playing with a lot of cuts today. You know, it's really diff different so when you're coming from a high school team that won a championship. The experience is there for you. You know what it takes to win. And so far, you know, literally and figuratively, Mito is a blue-colored worker for the Ateneo Blue Eagles, stretching the lead of Ateneo to five. Now yeah. it's six. He gets two for two from the line. He has four points at the ball game. Under five minutes to play in the first half, Escalona shadowing Cortez. Cortez over to Yo against Chia. Oh, there's an anime matchup there. Here's Sharma back to Wilson. Wilson leaving El Nido. Wilson kick out to Yo. Yo back to Wilson. And Three seconds. Three seconds, seconds against 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 they were very tentative. They would drive, but they would not hand, make the hand of the presence of Villanueva and Alvarez making the players of LaSalle change their mind in making the hand of. They're looking for the kick out. It does not happen for LaSalle. Here's Chia. Archer's down by six. Alvarez can't get the ball to Villanueva. Oh. Ball saved. Here's Gia for three. Oh. You know, perimeter success so far for Ateneo. He 
here in the first half. The number of three-point shots made for Ateneo far outweigh the number scored by Lasal. And this is Ateneo's biggest lead of the ball game at nine points. Here's Yo, the ninja. No, Alvarez with a rebound. No chance for an offensive board for Lasal in that play. Here's Alvarez, scooting down court over to Elvido. Elvido has played a big game for Ateneo. Now to Escalona. Escalona over to Elmido. Elmido over to Alvarez. Alvarez down low. He was blocked. And there's Sharma getting that loose ball. Three minutes, nine seconds to go in the first half. Here's Cortez. Cross the ball. And Cortez gives up the loose ball foul. Good tap there. He could not extricate from the sandwich play. First foul goal on the blue cat. Here's and Jack Jack Chia with a three-pointer to give Ateneo a nine-point lead. Brought to you by Lippman, the official IC of the UAAP. Cardona and Cabaco coming in. LaSalle unable to impose their defensive will on Ateneo at this point, partner. And I haven't seen too many second-chance points mm -hmm. for the defending champions. Nope, they were being boxed out properly by uh, Ateneo. The presence of Villanueva and Alvarez getting it very difficult for LaSalle to get second shots. Both teams are in the penalty. LaSalle is able to really take advantage of the penalty situation that struck Ateneo early in the second quarter and you're shaking your head because of the free throw. And so is this woman who's, who's uh, obviously from Ateneo. Young lady, there's a blue eagle on your head. <laughs> uh, Watch it. <laughs> Enrico is a 63% free throw shooter. Yeah, Joel Banal has mentioned that Enrico has been taking 500 free throws a day just to improve his averages. And they've just improved the lead to 10 points for Ateneo. Biggest lead of the ball game. Under three minutes to play in what has been an Ateneo first half. Here's Cortez. Stops and pops. You know, it just looks so easy for him. Yep. The defense of Escalona was at its best, but still not enough to stop Mike Cortez. Eight points for Cortez. He gets the steal against the rookie. And he gets all. He goes to him, but he gets the put back. He's putting pressure on Escalona, partner. He needs help on the backcourt. They can't just allow Escalona to dribble the ball. Ten points for Kurt Cortez. Louis goes lead down to six. Here's Villanueva, quick pace by Mo. He misses the slam. He was in a hurry when he saw the opening in that step. Here's Cortez, great pass for Cartona. Hey, their hurry partner in a jiffy. Lasal is within four. And Joel Banal has no choice but to call a timeout. The archers are on the attack. Breaking down Ateneo's 10-point lead to four. 2.08 to go in the second period. You know, there is no question. Ateneo is fully capable of building a 10-point lead, what with how they're playing. But the question is, can they take the pressure when Lasal goes on the attack? That was a uh, fast connection, fast break from Globe and Ipon, making great things possible. And a partner, every point guard in the UAAB is challenged by the presence of Mike Cortez. But you gotta go beyond being challenged. You gotta go and rise beyond the game of what you have against Mike Cortez. Alvarez still has the ball, and he goes all the way. No, he goes to JC Intan. Intan misses that time. Kabaku with his sixth rebound of the ball game. Cortez bounce pass to Sharma. Sharma is double deep, and he loses the ball. It's with Cardona, and that lead is down to two. Eight straight points, partner, for Lasalle. As expected, Echo Kimpo is back in the ball game. Kimpo overall steal, almost a steal. Here's Gonzalez. Under two minutes to play in the first half. Wesley off the glass, and there's a foul. You know, that was a great play there for Wesley Gonzalez. He realizes he would have the advantage in terms of talent against Junjun Tabato. But again, when Kimpo was able to get the ball to Wesley Gonzalez here, partner. And look at this play. There was no help. He curled, and there's the rookie mistake. Tapping the ball away, Wesley Gonzalez. First foul against uh, Cabatu. Both teams in the penalty. Gonzalez with 10 markers in this ball game. Right. He plays well. Ateneo is in good shape. And he completes the three-point play. You know, that silenced the 8 to nothing run of uh, Lasalle with his own three-point play. Five-point lead for Ateneo. A minute and 15 to go in the first half. 
Wilson back to Cortez, fakes the three, goes inside. Fantastic pass for Ikabaku. Well, we just have to wait, the ball will come to you. And the pressure is on. Ateneo holding on to a three-point lead. Under a minute to play in the first half. Oh, bad pass there by Wesley. Loose ball is with Villanueva, no more. Here's Capato, and Deepo gets the steal. Over to the rookie, JC Intan. Intan, oh! oh long pass down the by Cortez. Oh, what a steal. Yeah. Cortez just grabbed that ball. <laughs> Just grab that one, partner. <laughs> he just jumped like a cat and got that steal. Watch this. JC Intal going for the lob. And woo! There I <laughs> Got it. Brought to you by Rexona. Your 24 hour best defense against order and wetness, Rexona. It won't let you down. You know, partner, there is color now. Two technical fouls called. One, I think, on Cortez. The other one could be on uh, Gimpo. Some verbal toss of a current partner. It's on Wesley Gonzalez and on Mike Cortez. That's, that's gonna be big because Cortez picks up foul number two on the technical. Wesley Gonzalez, foul number three. Well, emotions running high because, because of what is at stake yes. in this ball game. For Ateneo, it's a chance to be number two. For the Archers, it is history. A chance to sweep the elimination round and go to the finals outright. You know, you're right about that, uh, Miko. It's getting to their head. It's getting to their system. Look at this. Only 38.5 seconds in the second quarter. Intensity is not going down at this point. It's not going to go down. You know, the cool cat has lost his cool in that play. He felt that Kimpo gave him a, you know, quite a strong nudge in that last play. We're in Kimpo picked up a foul and two free throws for the full cap. Mike Cortez, not so cool after all in that play. His numbers in the first round. Already 10 points today for Cortez. And you know, that's his second miss from mm -hmm. the line this afternoon. Tough load there for uh, Mike Cortez. Tough load for him. Cortez is a 66% free throw shooter. And he makes the second. He makes it a two-point ball game with just 37 seconds to go. Blue Eagles cross the half-court line. Here's Kimpo. Back to Alvarez. 29 seconds to go in the first half. Alvarez now inside to Villanueva. Villanueva over to Fonacher. Fonacher fakes. Fonacher fires offline. Last touch on Wilson. But only four seconds remaining in the shot clock of uh, Ateneo. 17.5 on the game clock. Two point lead for Ateneo. Seventeen and a half seconds remaining in the second period. For the share for the inbound. For the share, fires a pass for Chia. Two on the shot clock. Someone has to shoot. Kimpo fires. And it doesn't go in. So that's a shot clock violation against the Blue Eagles. Great defense there by the Archers. Joseph Yo replaces Junjun Kabaku in what could be the last possession. Ateneo is in the penalty with the same with uh, LaSalle. Two-point lead for Ateneo, 36-34. You know, a basket or a three-pointer here would be a backbreaker for LaSalle. Six seconds to go. Cortez has the ball over to Cardona. Three seconds to go. Cardona! No! So after the first two periods, Ateneo, hoping to ruin the South State with destiny, holds on to a two-point lead at the half, 36-34. Mike Cortez and the De La Salle Green Archers are gunning for a sweep of the elimination round. They're trying to become the first La Salle team in history to do such a feat. We'll be back.
score from the Big Dome is 36-34. Two-point lead, a very slim two-point lead for Ateneo. Oh, yes, Martin, it's two-point advantage. It was biggest of 10, and boy, it's just starting to heat up. And uh, if you hear the crowd really cheering up, because it, it, it's your way, you know, the cheering squad, you know, they, they have a way of uh, looking at the crowd. Two-point advantage, slim two-point lead. You know, Ateneo led the biggest of 10. La Salle had its run of six to nothing, but that was history. It was all Ateneo from that point. But what's really scary for Ateneo right now is it seems to be it's the South ball game, even though they're down by two points. I had a difficult time looking at the stats partner, trying to establish really the numbers favoring Ateneo because they have a two-point lead. Shooting-wise, La Salle is better than Ateneo. Rebound story is about the same. Assist, two more assists for Ateneo and turnovers, just a slight advantage for Ateneo, one assist more for De La Salle. But you really can't see much of the difference the way things have turned around in the first half. Here are our top scoring leaders. Mike Cortez leads the way for the uh, Green Archers, 11 points. And then Wesley Gonzalez leading the way for the Ateneans, also with 11 points. By the way, going back to that interview, uh, we'd like to thank Patty and Agnes. Of course, Nokia has always been the means by which we can connect with our teams, our friends, and loved ones. So grab the latest Nokia phone now at your nearest authorized dealer, Nokia, connecting people. We'll take a short break. We'll bring it a third quarter between the Blue Eagles and the Green Archers after this short break. And the second half is underway between the De La Salle Green Archers and the Ateneo Blue Eagles. La Salle gunning for the 14-game sweep of the elimination round and an outright seat in the best of three finals. The partner, what was uh, conspicuously missing in the top scores of Ateneo was Rico Alvarez. He held down to only three points in the first two quarters. Here's what I said. He got bumped. And he will go to the line. He was fouled by Miko Baino, who commits his second personal foul. Again, again a, a pleasant afternoon from the Big Dome. I'm Miko Halili with my partner, Randy Sakdala. You know, we can, we can feel what's going on outside. We can tell whether it's raining or what. But certainly, there's heat inside the Araneta Coliseum. First offense for Ateneo, they were able to run their play well. Ponashir getting that foul from Miko Baino. Two free throws for Larry. Ponacer with six points in the ball game. Coach Joel Banal hopes to be the first winning coach against the Green Archers all season long. And it's two for two for Ponacer with seven points in the ball game. That was a globe precision free throw from Club Anifold, making great things possible. The Archers begin the third period with Cortez, Santa Maria, Sharma, Vaino, and Cardona. This is their standard issue starting five. And here's Miko Vaino. Nice move. Too strong, ball goes out in favor of Ateneo. And then a good look at the basket, but could not contribute. And say hello to uh, Angel Masin Masinon, 16 years old uh, from Cara Rosil. She's still in high school, but she's enjoying the games, and she is our Camiseta Campus Girl. So come over to the games and be spotted as the next Camiseta Campus Girl. Kimpo saves the ball. He needs help. He needs help. Hand off for Chia. Line on the shot clock. Ponacer is wide open. And he drives and he scores. Well, good movement of the ball from the strong side to the weak side. So four unanswered points to begin the third quarter for Ateneo. Nine points for Ponacer. Six-point lead for Ateneo. And Cortez slows things down. Here's Cardona, top of the key against Chia. Cardona is good! Not too much pressure on Mac Cardona by Jeff Chi, allowing him to score easily. Ten points for Cardona. Here's Chia from the right side. Right corner over to Ponacer for three. Oh, -ho! you know, lousy defense. I would say, no, Vanyo didn't mark Ponacer well enough. There was not a hand on his face, and Ponacer partner, 12 points, all the points of Ateneo in the third period for Larry Pitefer. Back to a seven-point lead for the Blue Eagles. There's a swipe, ball recovered by Cortez. Here's Adonis for a long drive, and it's short. Vaino gets that offensive rebound, and over to Cortez, and they have a new shot clock. Inside to Santa Maria. Santa Maria against Villanueva. Santa Maria, yeah! Oh, that was a big challenge there. Santa Maria against Rico Villanueva, and the lead is cut down to five. Still over seven minutes to play in the third period, and uh, someone gave up a foul against uh, Alvarez that time. That's Adonis Santa Maria. Check out this three-pointer from from the professional three-point line, Larry Fonacher, brought to you by Lipton, the official ice team of the UAAP. 
You said about the importance of uh, Larry Fonacher. He's made 12 points, and Joseph Yo is in the ball game to take charge in the defense of uh, Larry Fonacher. It was Santa Maria who called for the foul. His second first team foul against the Green Archers. Here's Enrico. Swings it over to Chia. Chia for three. It's short. Yo with a rebound. Here's the ninja on the run. Over to Cortez. Cortez, he won't shoot. Inside to Santa Maria. Santa Maria gets blocked. Santa Maria gets triple deep. He loses the ball. It's with Villanueva over to Quimpo. Blue Eagles on the run. Here's Chia. Then he steps on the brakes over to Fonacher for three. Too strong. Here's Cortez against Quimpo. Cortez, Yo is wide open. Let's go to Agnes from the Dallas offense. Well, Nico, Coach Franz Pumarin wasn't too happy with the performance of his boys during the first half. He told them that they left home and that they were too lax on their defense. They were doing a decent job on Villanueva, but they had a problem with their rotation and communication. He also tells them to forget the trash talk or extra motions on the court and just do what they're supposed to do out there. Back to you, Nico. Nico had to give up the foul. And again, Cortez wreaking havoc on the Ateneo ball handlers. Second foul on Kipo. The Sun was successful in allowing Alvarez to handle that ball, losing that to the end line. Meantime, here's Cardona. We don't see Cardona hit many of these. Here's a Lipton Ice Tea three pointer from Mac Mac Cardona. Brought by Lipton, the official Ice Tea of the UAAP. Kipo sits down, and Gonzalez is in the game along with Andrew Cruz. Yes, Marty, that is an adjustment made by Coach Joel Gunnar. He has to get on the veterans to get to this ball game. There's a steal. Oh, it is dividends immediately for Coach Joel Bernard on that steal made by Gonzalez. Here's what I said. And he was fouled by Cardona. <laughs> she was screaming in the face of Mac Mac Cardona. Number one on Mac. And that's a third team foul against Lasal Agneo. Only a team foul to show in the third. Sunny Tadeo for Rich Alvarez. And Alvarez goes back to the bench. In comes uh, Sunny Tadeo. Let's go to Patty from the Ateneo side. Yes, Coach Joel Banal wants the boys to keep their composure. That right now, they have to work as a team. They have to help each other in bringing down the ball, especially when LaSalle executes a full court press. He wants them to keep their intensity until the end of the game. Back to you guys. Thank you, Patty. Here's Andrew Cruz. Cruz, baseline short. Mateo is uh, embraced there by Santa Maria. That's number three. The partner number three on Santa Maria against Lasal, unable to pay attention to the type of shot and the quality of the shot taken by Ateneo. Tadeo was able to get that anticipating a uh, short shot and they get possession back. Cabatu sits down uh, Santa Maria for De La Sal, who's got 14 fouls. Ateneo still a team foul here in the third. 6 8 remaining in the third. Inbound taken care of by Cruz. Over to Villanueva. Villanueva going pace time, and he was really bothered that time by the interior defense of Lasal. Here's Yo to Jun Jun Capato. Oh, that's Neville. Oh, yes. He was tentative. He was tentative partner. The defense was there. There was a Blue Eagle on his face. He traveled, turning the ball over. Some pressure for both teams here. Still a two point ball game with under six minutes to go in the third period. Remember, UST and UE watching this mm -hmm. game intently because whatever happens here will have an effect on their game tomorrow. Oh yes, partner. Only Ateneo can make happen a three-way log jam at number two and a final four if ever. Cortez with a rebound over to Yo. Yo. Over to Kabato. Kabato. Over to Cortez. Yo. Lasal moving that ball around. Oh! Sarma blocked by Villanueva. In your face, partner. Number two by Villanueva on Sharma. No love lost between those two <laughs> big men. No. Watch this again. Sharma erased by Villanueva, brought to you by Rexona. It won't let you down. 12 on the shot clock for De La Salle. Cortez on the right side against Andrew Cruz. Cortez, he's fouled, and it almost counts. That would have brought the house down. Oh, yeah, you La Salle looking to tie up the game here with three throws of uh, Michael Cortez. Cruz, that's number one in the second team foul for Ateneo. That's a, that's a game of Lasalo. It's not open. Cortez makes a decision, makes a play for himself on an isolation. Cruz has three fouls, actually. Not the first foul. And now is a chance for Lasal to tie up the game. Looking at the deadlock. Well, we're looking for what? The first deadlock? If ever? Yes, if ever. Wilson, he played a, a 
good uh, first half for him, waiting for his uh, cue. And two for two. For Cortez on the line. He has 13 markers in the ball game, and we're tied at 43. Conacher to Tadeo, Tadeo to Andrew Cruz. Cruz won't shoot. Over to Villarreva, over to Fonacher, Fonacher, double deep. Here's Gonzalez, Gonzalez hesitates. Here's Fonacher, Fonacher gets a pick. Fonacher going baseline and he forces one up. Put back by Gonzalez, is no good. Loose ball is with Mateo, but there's a steal by Joseph Yo. Archer is trying to regain the lead. Here's Sharpa and no! Oh, you know, Jimmers on the face of uh, Carlos Sharpa with an open look for him. So Ateneo not just a bullet that time, under five minutes to play in the third. Ball game is tied. Here's Wesley. Wesley goes left. Wesley goes all the way. Well, it was easy action for him. The defense did not suck up on Wesley Gonzalez. He saw the opening. Ateneo still in the driver's seat. Gonzalez and the Blue Eagles get the lead back. But it's just a two-point lead, 45-43, under five minutes to go. Timeout by the Green Archers. After five minutes to play in the third period. Archer's down by two. Here's Yo hanging in the air and it's short. Sharma trying to keep the ball alive. It's with Gonzalez. Over to Fanacher. Fanacher needs help being bothered by a double team in the backcourt. Fanacher steps on the brakes. Crossover dribble and he still has the leather. Now to Gonzalez. Back to Fanacher. Ten on the shot clock. They go to Villanueva. And there's a quick foul against Cardona. You know, that's going to be two free throws for Rico Villanueva. Penalty situation. Second foul for Mac Cardona. Now, Rico has to step up offensively for Ateneo Parker. Only three points today. And mm -hmm. still no uh, points here in the second half. Maybe these free throws can help his game if he converts both free throws or at least one to be able to regain confidence for Ateneo. They have a two-point advantage. Villanueva has been overpowering this season. He's had nine double doubles mm. this year. That means double digits in points and, and rebounds. rebounds. Very consistent for Rico Villanueva. Oh, split there from the line and uh, Jun Jun Kabato now. He's getting all the rebounds. He has seven rebounds today. Archer's down by three. Here's Cardona against Gonzalez. Oh, great spin, great fake. His pass goes to Cabato. Cabato is fouled. What a pass there from Cardona. You know, he was able to get that pass through. Ateneans biting into that uh, pump fake. Look at the passer of Cardona. Cabato sliding in. There it is. And there's the fake. Two eagles up in the air, and Villanueva <laughs> was holding onto the shoulder of Junjun Cabato. That's the foul. That's number one on Rico. Just giving him a friendly tap on the shoulder. <laughs> and he misses the first free throw. A good foul given there. There's, There's the, the brother. The older brother. Christian. Older by just 11 months. <laughs> just 11 months. Well, we don't know how prolific Sonny was when he was a player, but certainly those two boys of his are turning out good names after their father, Sonny Santiago Cabato Sr. Was well, Sonny a streak shooter when he was playing? <laughs> 3 minutes 31 seconds to go in the ball game. Here's Fonacher, baseline try. And it hits the, the uh, side of the backboard. Fonacher claiming that the ball was deflected. Yes, by uh, Junjun Cabato break there for Lasal. And so they have another chance to tie the game, maybe even go ahead with 3.20 to go in the third. Yo in motion. Here's Cardona. Cortez has the ball. Cortez against Cruz. Cortez shaking and baking. Pull up. Bit to the right. And there's a loose ball foul against oh. Carlos Sharma. Uh, Sharma's playing out of sync. He's not in a position to get that ball. Penalty situation. Two fouls on Sharma. You know, that's why Ramos is being tapped now by coach Franz Fumaren. Sonny Tadeo sits down after playing quality minutes and in comes Rich Alvarez. That was a good play, I think, for uh, Coach Joel Valdalpardo. He was able to rest Alvarez. Three minutes and nine seconds. Maybe it's uh, the latter part of the third quarter. Villanueva will also have to sit down to prepare him for the fourth quarter. Oh, Villanueva struggling from the line. And it's two out of five. Pressure for him to make it at least 50%. 
Now it's two out of six. And make that three out of six. So Dylan Weber now with five points in the ball game. Back to a three-point lead for Ateneo. Three minutes to go in the third. Here's Yo on the left side against Ponacer. 11 on the shot clock. Yo with a floater. And the loose ball will go out. That's not John Richard. Yo really have not found the mark in this ball game. Wilson replacing Jun Jun Kabatu. Two minutes and 50 remaining in the third period. Ateneo still on top by three. You're talking about Yo. He's scoreless in this oh. ball game. You know, he's coming up from sick bay. Last game against UP, it didn't matter much. And here, oh, that was hard, part. Oh, Villanueva just hammers Mike Cortez. That was a hard foul. That was a hard foul. That's going to be two fouls on Villanueva. Look at this. Went past Andrew Cruz and uh, Rigo Ju. That was a hard foul. I, th I thought it was a slap. It was more of an elbow. Oh, yes. And that hurts. I mean, you know, that's a 250 pound guy. Uh, go, going against uh, Mike Cortez. That was tough. But Cortez will shake it off. <laughs> you know, he's the cool cat. He'll shake it off. Oh, but, but he misses the free throw. You know, you, you, you may say that he, he's tough partner, but you get hacked like that, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna go down on you. You're gonna need a massage after the game. It's really very difficult coming off that bump. Maybe he, that's why he missed the first free throw. He makes the adjustments. And he gets a split. Cortez has 14 points in the ball game. Back to a two-point lead for Ateneo. Cruz, cross court to Fonacer, quickly to Gonzalez. Gonzalez going baseline, too strong. Gonzalez, one more try, and he gets the point oh, back. Wesley now with 15 points. You know, it's so easy for Ateneo to get an offensive board. You know, LaSalle is not boxing them out properly, trying to wait for that ball to land in their hands. Manny Ramos gets the pass. Ramos over to Cortez. You know, let's see if, how, if Cortez can lead, can quarterback this team despite a hot hit. Alvarez gets the rebound. Two minutes, nine seconds to go in the third. Alvarez, banging bodies with Wilson. Here's Villanueva, barreling through. Two for the share, two Andrew Cruz for three. Good oh, movement of the ball for Ateneo. Good movement of the ball. The lead is stretched to seven for the Blue Eagles. They led by as many as 10 points earlier. Under two minutes to play in the third. Here's Cartona, and there's a steal. Nice tap there by Fonacer. The steal completed by Gonzalez. Gonzalez still has that ball. Not giving it up, and it's a tap out by Cartona. We should give up that ball up for two. It just <laughs> went out of bounds. And a chance for Ateneo to regroup in their offense. <laughs> And the Ateneo Blue Eagles, who are up by seven points, call this timeout with a minute and 26 to go in the third period. Back in the big dome, that is director Bobit Vidanes. He directs Game Canaba for ABS-CBN. <laughs> Obviously, he's cheering for the blue and white. A minute 26 remaining in the third period. Uh, Anthony is enjoying a seven point lead. The question is, for how long? Oh, yes, we know. Now, they have felt the pressure, and so far they have withstood the pressure here in the third period. Of Cortez has a sat down partner for the Sal here in the second half. BJ Manalo checks in the ball game. Here's Enrico, power move, but the layup is short. Cardona bringing down the ball. Try to preserve Mike Cortez for the fourth. A minute and five to go in the third. Here's Cardona against Gonzalez. Villanueva is waiting down low. And Gonzalez colors that rebound. And there's a foul. You know, the foul will be called against Manny Ramos. Why? Because he was behind Jack Jekia. Third foul on Manny Ramos. Two free throws to Jack Jekia. You know, Ateneo has really worked out boxing on look at here Cardona will miss this over Villanueva on that difficult shot but look where Chia was and Manny Ramos was behind him the foul really will be called on Manny Ramos because he was out positioned by a smaller oh, like Chia. Oh, it was actually Wesley, Wesley Gonzalez. Gonzalez it was Wesley Gonzalez who grabbed the rebound and so Gonzalez troops to the strike you know so far Wesley Gonzalez is an outstanding player for Ateneo he's leading the way never mind the points of 
Rodrigo Villanueva. It's Gonzalez is piling up the numbers. 15 points. Unscathed from the free throw line. Still perfect. Three out of three. 16 markers for Wesley Gonzalez. Along with four rebounds. He is a 66% free throw shooter. He's averaging 14 points in the last four games. And those games were all won by Ateneo. Under a minute to play in the third. Again, Ateneo building a nine-point lead. Here's Alvarez. Cortez chases the ball. Nine on the shot clock. Cortez trying to go all the way, and he gets fouled. But he, you know, he was able to attract four blue shirts that time. You know. He was at the backboard. He realized the situation, drove through, look at him, looking at the clock, and Cortez slicing through. There comes the defense, and there's really going to be body contact on the play, though. He will be blocked. The question for Mike, can he take all the banging? So far, the, in the uh, strategy of Joel Bonal, what a bigger guy on Mike Cortez. That's Rich Alvarez, though. But that's going to take Alvarez away from the shaded area. And he has missed. He has missed free throws, Mark. He has missed free throws. Coach Franz Bomarin is seeking history today. Trying to become the first Nassau team in history to sweep the elimination round. Cortez oh. is 5 out of 10 from the free throw line. Archer still down by 9. Here's Villanueva. 15 on the shot clock. Villanueva with the drop step. He needs to pass up. Here's Alvarez. Over to Chia down low. Good, good recognition, Parker. When you double triple team Villanueva, they swing it to the other side. And this is the biggest lead for Ateneo of 11. Only 14 seconds to go in the third. Cortez against Andrew Cruz. Nine seconds to go. What a pass to Manny Ramos. But there's a foul call on Enrico Villanueva. Yes. Again, Cortez invited the contact number three on Rico. Here it is, partner. He slices through, dishes it off to Manny Ramos, and Manny Ramos locked and fouled there by Rico Villanueva. <laughs> surprise, surprise, that's number three on him. So here's a fourth year big man, Manny Ramos. His two games because of an injury, he makes the first. Averaging six points and four rebounds. Quite a steady free throw shooter at 73%. Yes, and Manny Ramos. You know, he's starting a slot taken over by Carlos Sharma, but he's working his way back free throws. Alvarez with another rebound. Only four seconds to go. Only three seconds to go. Two seconds to go in the third. Villanueva loses the ball, and that's how we'll end the third period. So after being down, recover and rebuild their 10-point lead 56-46. Ateneo hoping to ruin Nassau State with destiny. They are the only team standing in the way of a possible 14-game sweep by the De La Salle Green Archers. They're up by 10. We'll bring it to fourth and final quarter after this short break. Welcome to the fourth and final quarter of this ball game between Ateneo and De La Salle. This quarter scoring Ateneo, eight point advantage in the third period. Ateneo has really done a good job recognizing the triple team. And to open the fourth quarter, Santa Maria picks up foul number four. Tough, tough situation here, partner. You know, Char was not playing well for La Salle. Santa Maria picks up foul number four. So Rico has only scored what five points in the in the ball game, but that's not a problem. So far, a lot of guys stepping up for Ateneo. And Cabato replaces Adoni Santa Maria early here in the fourth. Well, Cabato is taking care of the boards with seven rebounds today. Here's Chia. Chia stops, shoots, misses. Mateo with a big rebound. It's a new shot clock for Ateneo. Gonzalez to Andrew Cruz for three. You know, they're shooting very confidently, the Ateneans. Concentration on the interior defense. It's the biggest lead at 59-46 for Ateneo. Onasana's oh, been here before. They've been in this position before. Wilson to Cabato. 
Eighth on the shot clock. Here's Joseph Yo, who has been scoreless today. Joseph Yo to Wilson. Wilson, 15 footer. No good. Mateo with the rebound. Sal is not responding at all at this point. And Cortez is on the bench for La Salle. Andrew Cruz playing in his final season for the Blue Eagles. Nails the three-pointer brought to you by Lipton Ice. The field official ice team of the UAAP. Substitutions on the floor. Ramos sits down. Sharma is in the ball game. And Larry Fonacher is back on the floor for the Blue Eagles. Fonacher, double team. And he is fouled by Yo. And a partner, three team fouled for La Salle. And less than a minute gone by in the fourth period. That's going to be a tough situation. You can't defend with the press, considering that the fouls are piling up. Only one more, and Lasal will be in the penalty. Remember, Ateneo had the big advantage of being a rested team. De La Salle had to play last Thursday and had to survive a one-point win against UP. Yes, you know that could be telling at this point of the game for La Salle. There's a spin by Alvarez. He misses. Under nine minutes to play in the ball game. Here's Joseph Yo. Double dribble. And Joseph Yo really having a struggling game. Yo is scoreless so far. He is averaging 10 points per ball game. You know, nightmare for Joseph Yo. You know, he could not get his game going. Traveling violation for Joseph Yo. And Lasalle is still down by 13. 8 and 39 remaining. Cardona will be checking in for La Salle. A big plus here for, for Ateneo. Even whoever is sitting on the bench for Coach Joel Banal. They have a 13 point lead. Not much has been done so far by La Salle here in the fourth. But you know, when you're playing against the Lasalites, a 13 point lead with over 8 minutes to go, that is absolutely unsafe. Oh, yes. A long time to go here. Here's Villanueva. Oh! Steal, near steal by BJ. You know, BJ read that perfectly. Oh, yes. It was just, just wasn't fast enough. Well, BJ himself is not playing well. What are his numbers, partner? Two points only for BJ Manalo. Back in the first quarter. Oh, yeah, that was that was history already. He needs to put up the numbers. A third guy outside of Cardona and Cortez will have to hit his stride here for La Salle. Conacer with the drive, and there's a foul. You know, they have allowed Ateneo, La Salle get into the hole with a quick first step. Second foul from William Wilson. Very reactive. Look at this. The first step was given to Larry Bonacher and you know, Wilson was just late. He could not cover because there was momentum on the side of Larry Bonacher. He looks to pad on to this lead, which is 13 for Ateneo. Missing badly on the first free throw. Bonacher with 12 points. Really trying to make up from a lackluster mm -hmm. game against Lasalle in the first round. Oh yes, and uh, here they're playing without L.A. Tenorio. Ateneo is in good shape. Biggest lead at 14. 13 points for Fonacer. 8.18 to go. The archers are down by 14 points. Manalo to Yo. Cardona is on the move. Yo, over to Manalo for three. And Gonzalez clears the rebound. Cardona gives up the loose ball foul. <laughs> Exchange of smiles between Cardona and Alvarez. That's number three on Cardona. Look, it's team foul number four. Penalty situation. 15 foul against the Archers. Pushing them into the penalty. They're down by 14 with 8.03 remaining in the ball game. We have a timeout. Time out was brought to you by Globe Antifold, making great things possible. Well, that's uh, Senator uh, Villar. Manny Villar and uh, Mr. MVP. MVP, Manny Pagodinan. Well, of course, on the Athenian side, Ateneo stretching its lead to 15, partner. But you know, remember, Mike Cortez and the Green Archers at the eight minute mark of that game against UST with this deficit made a run and eventually won the game. Will they do it again? Wilson to Cardona. Cardona traveling. Yeah, very tentative. The defense was high up to meet Mark Cardona. Ateneo looking to stretch this further. 62-46 for Ateneo. 
Under eight minutes to play in the ball game. Will we have a final four or will the Green Archers go all the way to the finals? Villanueva to Fonacer, back to Villanueva. Villanueva with a power move and again the layup is short. He's been missing those layups all yes. day long. Boy, black rain for uh, Vico. And here's Cortez on the move. He overshoots and Fonacer with an emphatic rebound. Here's Fonacer on the run. And then wisely steps back over to Rich Alvarez against Cortez. Down low to Andrew Cruz. Cruz is fouled by DJ Manalo. Uh, that's going to be two free throws for Andrew Cruz because that's a third foul of Manalo. Penalty situation. You know, really the penalty situation has made it difficult for LaSalle to be able to put pressure. And Ateneo is just too happy to shoot free throws. Time running down on the game of LaSalle. Still no run for the Green Archers. And Andrew Cruz playing in his last year for the Blue Eagles. Makes the first free throw. And the second is good. Cruz has eight points off the bench. Now that's big numbers. 18 points down are the Archers. Cortez being shadowed there. There's Wilson. DJ can take the three. Manalo in the paint. Good defense by Ateneo. Cortez for three. And that's good. Okay. They're going to start somewhere for Lasal. And there's a steal. There's a steal. Manalo gets the layup. Here we go. Here's that Lasal run. Five points straight for Lasal in that play. Can Ateneo handle the pressure? Can they take the heat? Here's a cut by Andrew. Oh, oh. And he scores on the layup. What response there. Ateneo not wilting in that play. The lead is scored 15 points for Ateneo. Here's Cortez. Won't take, oh, there's a foul. That's a foul against Andrew Cruz. Ateneo, that's only the first team foul here in the fourth quarter. So they can give it away. But that's number four on Andrew Cruz. And Cruz has been playing solid ball. He goes back to the bench with 10 points. And Epoquipo, who had a good first quarter, is back in the ball game. Try to put the locks on uh, Mike Cortez here in this fourth quarter. Cortez in the archers trying to engineer another dramatic comeback. Here's Cardona in the paint, blocked by Gonzalez. Fonacer quickly for Kimpo. Kimpo on the move. He steps on the brakes. Six minutes to go in the ball game. Villanueva has been missing. Back to Villanueva. Drop step, double team, and again it's short. In a really, really tough day at the office for Rico. He can't put it in. Cortez for three, it's short, it's short. Lasalle is in a hurry to pile up the numbers. Five and 36 to the 15 point lead for the Blue Eagles. Let's go to Agnes from the De La Salle bench. Well, Coach Franz Pumar reminds his boys to get things under control, be aggressive on their offense and pressing on their defense. However, he also reminds his boys to take care of their fouls and not to give up awkward shots. It's a long way to go and the archers are far from giving up. You know, Coach Franz Pumar reminds his boys that this is their quarter. Back to you, Pat Hey, 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 partner, this is problem for La Salle. No run. And yet they've retained his team. Alvarez showing up. The Athenians are up 68-51. 5.15 to go in the game. We have a timeout. That timeout was brought to you by Globe Handy Food. Make the great things possible. Let's quickly go to Patty on the Ateneo pitch. Yes, Coach Joel Banal wants the boys to continue to work as a team. Right now, they have to keep that ball rotating. They have to explore all their options on court and to make sure that they're wise in taking their final shots. Back to you guys. Oh, yeah, sorry. You know, it's really lead management on the part of Ateneo at this point. Time down to five and seven. Can the archers execute another comeback run? like they have done over and over again. Sarba 
missing the dunk, but the foul is given up by Wesley Gonzalez. Yes, that's number four for Wesley Gonzalez. That might take its toll. He's taking good care of uh, Mark Cardona, but good play here. Sharma getting the ball and fouled by Gonzalez, making sure that there are no basket really for Sharma. So he has to earn it in the free throw line. Carlos Sharma playing in his second year, 37% from the line, and he gets the soft bounce. <laughs> <laughs> really, really soft partner. Joseph Yo, tough day at the office, couldn't get his game going. Silks for Joseph Yo. And again, the big man gets the soft touch. First two points, first two points for Carlos Sharma. 16 point lead for the Athenians. Under five minutes to play. Can the men in blue hold on to this win? Oh, Cortez making that play happen. He made that play happen. And here he is for the three. And it goes oh. over the backboard. You know, he I, is in a hurry. Bro. I pose the question. Does he look tired to you? I think to a certain degree when he was missing his shots, he was getting banged up with heaven effect. He did not look to drive in. He went for the three-point shot. Now, normally for players, they would want to get it as close as possible, but he's in a hurry to bring it down. He saw the open shot. Now, Gonzalez hits down. Question, can they handle Cardona's uh, defense? Now, with Jack Chichi on the floor. Oh, Cortez falls down. And now it's Wilson picking up Kimpo. There's a mismatch. Mm -hmm. Alvarez is being guarded by Cortez. Here's Kimpo. He won't take the three. They go inside to Alvarez. Out to Chia for the long try. In and out. Rebound by Sharma. And, oh, it's a foul committed in the backcourt by Nari Punisher. No, Ateneo is not in the penalty partner. That's not going to send Sharma to the free throw line. Three on Nari Punisher. Four and 12. Everybody is holding their breath, <laughs> waiting for LaSalle to push that, that, button. Attack, that attack button. Create turnovers and get back in the ball game. 4.05 to go in the fourth. Cortez picked up by Kimpo. There's a flash by Sharma. Here's PJ. PJ with the pull up. It's too long. Sharma can't get the rebound. It's Wen Chia and the Athenians. Under four minutes to play. Here's Vanasher. He attacks. Layup is no good, but there's a foul. You know, that attack button is not coming through so far for Lasal. But the will take two free throws. Manalo has committed four fouls. More fouls given by Manalo than shots made in the ball game for BJ. Three and 47. A Time win. running out, partner on the if, La Salle. If Ateneo holds on to win this game, there's a possibility of a triple tie yes. for the second spot. As Fonacher calmly sinks the first free throw. Well, first things first. An Ateneo win. What would it mean? There's going to be a final four. What's going to be definite? La Salle will be number one. What we don't know is who's going to be two, three, and four. We're going to wait for the UE USC game. That is if Ateneo wins over La Salle. Time down to three and 47. And Ateneo ahead by 18, 71, 53. 15 points for Ponacer. 341 remaining in the ball game. Cortez against Kipo. There's the quick double team. Here's Willie Wilson. He passes to Cardona, and Cardona won't score. And the rebound goes to Sharma, but uh, Kipo is there. For the hack on the arm. In the partner, I think that's the attitude of Ateneo so far. No easy baskets. They would contest a three foul from Kimpo. Ateneo is not in the penalty number four, rather, on Kimpo. They have nursed their fouls properly here in the fourth. Okay, check that. It's the third foul on Kimpo. It's the fourth Fort team foul against the Blue Ateneo. Eagles. And again, Carlos Sharma. He hey, saved the day. Partner, look. Cortez sits down. Yo comes into the fold, and Sharma misses the free throw. Are the archers giving up at this point with Cortez sitting down? Three minutes, 30 seconds remaining in the ball game. Sharma second is no good. Rebound by Fonacher. Well, I think Ateneo now will be use the clock. It's on their side. It's a huge 80 point lead. They're going to milk the clock here. Oh, great job, guys. I don't know. I don't know, partner, if Lasal is giving up on the sweep at this point. It's a big 20-point balloon. It's a big blue 20-point balloon. Manalo and the Archers, do they have time remaining to get back in the game? And Kimpo ties up 6-7, Carlos Sharma. Again, partner, I tell you, that's the attitude. Don't give up. He will send Sharma to the free throw line. Maybe not the, good, the best option rather for Ateneo. 
They find Alvarez all alone for the jam from Rogue Handyphone making great things possible. I think uh, this is the deepest hole that Lasalle got in itself so far in the UAAP in the second half. Yes, three minutes remaining, 20 points down. And Sharma, as expected, wins the tap over 5 5. Boquimbo, under three minutes to play. Manalo trying to make things happen for the Green Archers. That's the first field goal for Manalo in the second half. Do the Archers have time? Or is their bid for a sweep slipping from their hands? Under three minutes to play. Villanueva has not had a monster game, but his teammates have all stepped up. Here's Villanueva. Looking for Jack G. Adam. Again, oh. again, partner, again. They know where the double team is coming from. The movement of Jack Jack Chia. He gets the basket. Hey, hey, hey. 20 point lead for Ateneo. Manalo, he's trying to take charge. That's a blocking foul on Kimpo. That will be number four. 20 points down is Lasal. 2 11. Cortez is on the bench for Lasal. Two free throws. This is a tough situation. This is a tough situation for the defending champions. Is Ateneo two minutes and 11 seconds away from winning this game and destroying LaSalle State with destiny? We'll be back with the last 2 11 of the game. You know, for 13 games, the Green Archers have been simply untouchable. They have been unbeatable. But here they are, facing a deficit that could be unreachable with 2 minutes and 11 seconds to go. Very, very difficult situation for LaSalle right now. Clock not on their side. Their best player sitting on the bench. They're in the penalty. Well, the same with Ateneo, but Ateneo is just playing splendid basketball. And look at that. Oh, Joseph Yo, he is just having a nightmarish ball game, committing his third foul. And, you know, Ateneo would just be happy to exchange free throws with De La Salle. 19 fouls given up by La Salle. So that is tough. Ateneo has only given five. And, you know, who's coming in for Ateneo, partner, to ensure that ball handling will be taken care of here in this point, two and three remaining in the game. So situational substitution for Coach Joel Banal. Larry Fonecher uh, goes to the bench and in comes Marco Benitez, his first chance to see action in this ball game. And Jack Jack Chia misses the first free throw. Chia hardly see, uh, saw action uh, last year. In fact, he only had six minutes total of playing time, but this year he has been such an important part of the Ateneo offense. You know, in the second half, together with Andrew Cruz, Chia has made One, things happen for Ateneo. They're up by 19 points with time running out for the undefeated Green Archers. Here's Joseph Yo has failed to score today, and that pass goes to Ramos. Ramos over to Yo, and he will go to the line. Still could not buy a basket from the field for Joseph Yo. Oh, First foul on Jack Chia. Can you imagine that, partner? He's been on the floor for and so was, many minutes. He was guarding Cardona oh, yes. and Wilson earlier uh, earlier today. And he just got his first foul. I think Ateneo has played you know, very smartly against Lasalle in this afternoon's ball game. Villanueva's numbers were not there, but look, Ponacher, Gonzalez, Chia, Andrew Cruz, they've made the defense of LaSalle work at the perimeter. They've worked it so hard, they've responded with the perimeter jumpers, and so many missing people in the offense of LaSalle. Yo is one of them. Yo, a single point in this ball game, and that's last touch on Adonis Santa Maria, and this could be yes. the last time that LaSalle will be undefeated. They are a minute and 41 seconds away from saying goodbye to the dream of sweep, from saying goodbye to the hope of a perfect season. No way, there's gonna be a final four. The way things are, Miko, there's gonna be a final four. So we're gonna watch out who's gonna be two, three, four, and we're gonna wait till tomorrow's game Again. of UNUSD. And we'll, we'll have to wait until the final seconds of that <laughs> game to find out who shall be number two. Can you explain, partner, the complications well, of the coaching system? Well, one, with the win of Ateneo over La Salle, it's a possibility for a three-way log jump. And they're gonna use the coaching system in the teams involved, meaning UE, USD, and Ateneo. Now, if UE wins over USD tomorrow, 
number four will go to USD, Ateneo will be number three, and UE will be number two. That means the Sal will beat USD in the big four, and UE and Ateneo will slug it out for the two and three. You know, whatever happens with the, uh, in the ball game between UE and USD, the Ateneans will savor this win because, <laughs> yes. you know, it, in the last 10 years, the Ateneans like this young man have been in pain, have been in heartbreak, thanks to the mastery of the Lassalites over their Blue Eagle counterparts. And Villanueva gets the rebound, did not have a big offensive game, but his teammates surely carry the load. Yes, partner, and you talked about initially that Joel Banal has not been very successful against Coach Fran Tumaren. We'll talk about getting things even. Round one to Lasal, round two looks like he's gonna be really Ateneo. Benitez over to Kimpo, Kimpo high, looper, no go. Just 47 seconds to go, 47 seconds remaining. And here's Cardona with the reverse. Cardona is playing out garbage points now. Ateneo will break the sweep of Lasal, forces a final four, and oh boy, what a pain it was for the Archers and how sweet it is for the Blue Eagles. Six teams have tried and failed. USC even managed to build an 18-point lead. UE gave LaSalle a scare, but, uh, but they, they could not do what Ateneo is about to accomplish in this ball game. Cartona fires, but too late, yeah. too little, too late for the Green Archers. 14 seconds to go. The Archers, they will be seated number one, but their hopes for a perfect elimination round is no more. Ateneo. Finally, Exact's revenge wins over the Green Archers, breaks the streak, and gives the Archers a 13-1 record. Final score from the Big Dome, 76 as the nail, 63 Denisov. 31 it is for the Archers and the Eagles. Just quite four, it's a three-way lock jump. Let's watch out for the QA USD, but certainly Ateneo succeeded for the rest fail in the combination. Just moments ago, just hour, two hours ago, La Salle was hoping to do the historic, a 14-game sweep of the elimination round. But this big crowd of blue and white pushing and cheering on the Blue Eagles, and they do the impossible. What the other teams failed to do, they accomplished tonight, winning 76-63, snapping La Salle's perfect record. And I go by uh, what's on your cell phone, partner, because you believe <laughs> Athenians <laughs> winning over La Salle when everybody thought, well, La Salle's gonna come back in the fourth quarter with never mind if it's an 18 point lead, but La Salle's gonna do it. But no, Ateneo withstood the pressure without Rico Villanueva scoring. The Athenians, as a team, they played well against La Salle. One of uh, the teammates that uh, stepped up big time today, Wesley Gonzalez. Uh, a Balik Ateneo player, 17.6 rebounds, 2 steals and 1 block.